Hi everyone, life is crazy right now. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of videos filmed for you and uploaded to the YouTube channel, even if they're just short workouts for you to do when you're sitting around watching TV or bored. Today, I'm just gonna do a quick workout with the stability ball, doing a series of five with a piece of equipment and a few extra exercises for you to really get into the core muscles. Take the ball, lie down on your back, take the ball over your head, make sure you have plenty of room to reach the ball. Then bring the knees up into a 90 degree angle and bring the ball right up above your chest. As you lift your chest, or keep your head down actually, just take one tiptoe down and up and then the other one. And you're wanting to create a tabletop sensation with that 90 degree angle in your legs right over the hip bones, not the chest or the rib cage. With both toes, stretch them down into the floor. This is a bracing exercise for the belly. So that feeling of bracing is the feeling you use when you want to protect your low back, when you're bouncing around in a car, a Jeep, on a mountain bike, on a ride. And the same muscles you use if you slip and fall. Now, on this next one, take the ball over your head, and you can extend your legs long, or you can touch the tiptoes to the floor. Whatever you're ready for, whatever feels right to you. At this point, we're just keeping the head still down. Lengthening, bracing, and feeling that powerhouse pull down into the back. Again, an option here would be just both tiptoes as you lengthen and lift. Take the ball and place it on one knee. Keep the 90 degree angle into hands in front. Push down the ball and you'll activate the abdominals down into the powerhouse. The free leg touches down and pulls back up. Touches down. And the key here is to really push with the knee into the ball and the hands into the ball, feeling that, again, deep sensation of core strength. After this next one, to increase intensity, extend both legs higher, place the ball on the same leg, brace it, feel the leg pushing back in the ball, and then circle the leg that's free out, around, and down. Out and around. Paying careful attention to keep the pelvis stable and the low back pressing down. Reverse the circle, open it up, circle down and around. Using those Pilates principles in every Pilates move, control, concentration, centering, breath, and change legs. Bending the knee, bracing the core, free leg touches down and up, and the key is to brace the core. Continue with those Pilates principles as reminders, fluid motion, always really smooth, and take it one more time. And then precision and detail. Pay careful attention to the positioning of your body. Straighter leg, down, circle around, and up. Pressure in the ball, both from the hands and the leg. Powerhouse pulling down deep. Stability through the pelvis. Reverse the circle, open it up, down and up. And paying attention to detail. So how long are the legs? How straight are the legs? And is there room for more? One more time. As you bring the legs back to the 90 degree angle and the ball up, pull the chest up and bring the ball to the top of your feet. Double leg stretch from series of five. Open it up, engage, pull it to the top of the feet. Open it up and pull. Inhaling with one move, exhaling with the opposite move. And pull. And again, open it up. Pull one more time. Stay here, kick the legs up, touch the ball, open it, tuck in, bring the ball to the feet. So this is just a variation of the double leg stretch. Lengthen, keep that low back down, pull in. Lengthen, lift, lengthen, pull in. One more time, lengthen, kick up, lift, lengthen, and pull back in, release the torso down. Single leg stretch, arms above the chest. One leg extends to straight, one leg is bent. Lift the chest, drop the chin, and then see if you can lift a little further, trying to reach the ball up to the ceiling with the chin down. Engage the powerhouse as you switch legs. Breathe in with one move, exhale with the other. Stabilizing powerhouse. Paying careful attention to the detail of the shoulders elevated and the belt line nice and tight. 
Bring the ball over the head, bring the knees in. Extend one leg straight up, extend the other leg straight out. As you come up, bring the ball right to the front of the leg for the single straight leg stretch. Scissor legs, ball comes over the head. Scissor legs comes back up. Inhale on one leg. Exhale on the other. Inhale on one leg. Exhale on the other. One more time on this leg and lift. With the other leg, bring the leg up. As you scissor ball goes over the head, pull up. Over the head, pull up. Over the head, pay careful detail to each move that you do one more time. Pull back up. Bring the knees into the chest. Set up for double straight leg stretch by placing the ball between the two legs. Hands go behind the head, elevate the chest, open the elbows, relax the neck and the head. Pulling down forward, brace the powerhouse, pull back up. Now, because there is a weighted ball between the two legs, you may not be able to lower the legs as far as you do when the ball is not there. Push down, feel the engaging of the powerhouse, pull back up. Let's go one more time on this one. Pull back up, bring the ball back into the hands, Bring the knees to chest, ball overhead. For the crisscross, elevate the shoulders. Bring the elbow into the knee, and then switch sides. And then switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and lengthen, and one more time. Let's finish with a nice full body exercise. Legs go up, open the legs, ball between the legs, reach over the head. As you lower your legs down, elevate your shoulders and head. Come back up, take hold of the ball. Open the body. Pull back up together. Pull, take hold of the ball. Lengthen the body. Pull back up. Open it up. Pull back up. One more time. Open. Pull back up. And bring the knees in. Take the ball above your head. Give it one big stretch. A couple of deep breaths. If it feels good, flex through the feet. And there's your series of five with the stability ball. Have a great day.